Today I'm making uh, cannoli shells. And the recipe for cannoli shells is one cup flour, a tablespoon of lard. Tablespoon of sugar, tablespoon of sugar, and first what I'm using is, I don't have Marcellus wine, I'm using seltzer water. Do is cut in the cut in the lard. So now I'm going to make a double batch. I'll put another cup of flour. Put another tablespoon of lard. Another tablespoon of sugar. Uh, a quarter cup, and since we're making two two batches of recipe, two cups of shell dough. Ball it up, keep squeezing it together.
Okay, so ball like that. Like that. <clears throat> Wash my hands. Take plastic wrap. What you do is gather it up. Twist it. Twist it like so. And put it in the refrigerator for an hour. Okay, I did just put just a little bit of flour. Just go one direction, don't come back. Just the dough will lift up. I'm trying to make it thin as possible. Ball it up, the excess. Turn it out a little bit more. It's your cannoli, cannoli shell. Pat it down. called the cannoli shell core. Did wash on both sides.
Then open the lid, lift up the basket, then drop it down. Set it for one minute. Open the lid. Let the uh, basket Settle, let it drain off. Put some tongs. Let it set. Let it set for about 10 seconds. So with these these cannoli shells, okay. go like this. We have the uh, cannolis resting in the fryer. Take it and I put it on a slant like that so the oil comes out of the cannoli core. Uh, and put it over there. So as we as we start, I started at eight o'clock. Let the dough rest an hour. And right now it's eleven. So three hours later, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. I have made two dozen cannoli shells in three hours. When, and one opened. They can't open up on you. You have to press them down tightly on the ends. This is how you take the can only show off the core. You grab it here. Pull it out like that. See these cores? These cores shrink. by here because these can be hot. Be careful. There they are. Frying away.